वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ द न्यूक्लिक एसिड दैट इज डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एब्रीवेटेड एज डी एन ए सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज डी एन ए और डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स डी एन ए इज अ बायोपोलीमर विच इज मेड अप ऑफ स्मॉल रिपीटिंग यूनिट्स कार्ड एज द डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स सो डी एन ए इज बेसिकली अ बायोपोलीमर and deoxy ribonucleotides are its monomers now what is a deoxy ribonucleotide a deoxy ribonucleotide is a molecule which consists of three chemical subunits one of them is a pentose sugar which is deoxy ribose second one is the nitrogenous base attached to the first carbon of this deoxy ribose through glycosidic linkage and that nitrogenous base may be adenine or guanine these are two purines or it may be thymine or cytosine these are two pyrimidines and my dear students uracil is absent in the dna and with the carbon number 5 of this deoxy ribose sugar phosphate group is attached so this whole molecule which consists of three chemical subunits one deoxy ribose sugar second nitrogenous base and third phosphate group that is called as the deoxy ribonucleotide and my dear student a molecule that consists of only two chemical subunits one is the deoxy ribose sugar and second is the nitrogenous base that molecule is called as the deoxy ribonucleoside and my dear students when deoxy ribonucleoside attaches with the phosphate group either with one phosphate group two phosphate group or with the maximum of the three phosphate group then a deoxy ribonucleotide molecule is produced so this one is a deoxy ribonucleotide and when large number of deoxy ribonucleotide molecules join together then dna a biopolymer is obtained now let us look into the types of the deoxy ribonucleotides and deoxy ribonucleosides when adenine combines with deoxy ribose sugar then deoxy adenosine is produced which is a deoxy ribonucleoside when guanine bonds with deoxy ribose sugar then deoxy guanosine is produced which is a deoxy ribonucleoside similarly thymine bonded with deoxy ribose sugar results in the deoxy uh, thymidine that is an example of the deoxy ribonucleoside and when cytosine is bonded with the deoxy ribose sugar it results in the deoxy cytidine which is an example of the deoxy ribonucleoside so how many deoxy ribonucleosides are there four d adenosine d guanosine d thymidine and d cytidine now my dear students when these four types of the deoxy ribonucleosides when they bond with either one two or three phosphate groups then different types of the deoxy ribonucleotides are formed like d amp which is deoxy adenosine monophosphate d adp deoxy adenosine diphosphate and d atp deoxy adenosine triphosphate similarly deoxy guanosine monophosphate deoxy guanosine diphosphate deoxy guanosine triphosphate these are types of the deoxy ribonucleotides deoxy thymidine monophosphate deoxy thymidine diphosphate deoxy thymidine triphosphate deoxy cytidine monophosphate deoxy cytidine diphosphate and deoxy cytidine triphosphate these are the deoxy ribonucleotides in which the deoxy ribonucleoside is attached with one phosphate group two phosphate group and three phosphate group respectively when the de deoxy ribonucleoside is attached with one phosphate group then monophosphate mean mp's are produced these one when with two phosphate group diphosphates are produced three phosphate group triphosphates are produced so my dear students how many types of the deoxy ribonucleosides are there four and how many types of the deoxy ribonucleotides are there three six 9 and 12 so there are 12 types of the deoxy ribonucleotides and four types of the deoxy ribonucleosides so that is a very important discussion with respect to short answer questions and the mcqs now my dear students how the nucleotides join together how the nucleotides they join together to form the dna so you can specifically say how the deoxy ribonucleotides they attach together to form the dna molecule my dear students look very carefully this one is a deoxy ribonucleotide molecule consisting of sugar base and this one is the phosphate group 
माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट वन इज एन अदर डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लियोटाइड मॉलिक्यूल सो वट हैपन्स द ओ एच ग्रुप प्रेजेंट एट द थर्ड कार्बन ऑफ वन डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लियोटाइड कॉन्डेंसिस विद द फॉस्फेट ग्रुप विच इज अटैच टू द कार्बन नंबर फाइव ऑफ द अदर डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लियोटाइड सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस कंडेंसेशन रिएक्शन अ वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल इज रिलीज and after the loss of the water molecule now these two they are attached to through the phosphodiester linkage this is called as the phosphodiester linkage so in this way the two deoxy ribonucleotide molecules they join together but my dear students now this sugar molecule has a free oh group at its third carbon and this sugar has this phosphate group free at the five carbon so it means that this deoxy ribonucleotide can further attach with the other phosphate groups of the other deoxy ribonucleotide molecules and in the same way this phosphate group can condense with oh group of the sugar of the other deoxy ribonucleotides so this chain can elongate from both ends from this 3 dash end as well as from this 5 dash end so that's why whenever a dna strand is drawn at one end of that strand 5 dash and at the other end of the strand 3 dash is marked what does it mean it mean that at the 5 dash end a phosphate group is free which can still bond with the other deoxy ribonucleotide molecules and at the 3 dash end there is oh group free which can still elongate this dna molecule so 5 dash and 3 dash end show the presence of the free phosphate group at the 5 dash end and free oh group at the 3 dash end so the linkage is produced basically between the phosphate group attached to the carbon number 5 and the oh group attached to the carbon number 3 of the sugar and this is called as a phosphodiester linkage when large number of nucleotide molecules they are attached together or specifically when the large number of deoxy ribonucleotide molecules they attach together then a long chain a polymer is produced which is called as the dna and dna has always a phosphate group free at 5 dash end and an oh group free at the dash end now what is the structure of the dna the structure of dna is in front of you this is called as the double helical structure of the dna because it consists of the two polynucleotide strands keep in mind that this one strand that is called as the polynucleotide because it consists of many nucleotides and my dear students the this straight structure of the dna that is called as its primary structure in which the large number of deoxy ribonucleotides are bonded together and this primary structure of the dna is maintained by the phosphodiester linkages and my dear students these two helix are attached with each other through hydrogen bonds and the secondary structure of the dna is maintained by the hydrogen bonds so if you want to break the primary structure of the dna and you want to separate the deoxy ribonucleotides then you will have to break the phosphodiester linkages and if you want to separate the two helix of the dna or you want to disrupt the secondary structure of the dna then you will have to break the hydrogen bonds present between the base pairs now my dear students in dna adenine is paired up with thymine and these are two complementary base pairs while the guanine is bonded with the cytosine or is paired with a cytosine and guanine and cytosine that is called as another complementary base pair there are two hydrogen bonds between adenine and thymine and three hydrogen bonds between the guanine and the cytosine the diameter of the dna is 2 nanometer and my dear students the distance between two adjacent complementary base pairs that is 0.34 nanometer while the one turn this one is one turn of the helix the one turn of the helix is 3.4 nanometer long starting from this point to the this point this is one turn and this one turn is 3.4 nanometer long so this structure of the dna that was confirmed through the x ray diffraction technique and x ray diffraction technique has revealed this double helical structure of the dna molecule my dear students it was all about what is dna what are deoxy ribonucleotides and deoxy ribonucleosides how the deoxy ribonucleotides are attached together and finally what is the structure of the dna 
in the next lecture we will talk about the ribonucleic acid or rna molecule till then take care